Hey guys, and welcome back to That LP Show. The name of the game is Sonic Lost World. Last time, we arrived in Lava Mountain and encountered Zaz, Zomom, and Master Zick. With an appetite for revenge and a raised power level courtesy of Dr. Eggman's energy siphoning machine, but juiced up as they were, they were no match for a certain blue hedgehog, and I'm not talking about Mabel from Animal Crossing. Anyway, with three of the Deadly Six finally out of commission, there's three more remaining, Xena, Zor, and Zavik. Will we find them here in Lava Mountain Zone 3? Let's find out. hands on you guys we promise you will be happy in our suit i'll never serve you i was hoping you'd say that destroy sonic Cool! Tails is augmented, so those are going to come in useful. But yeah, totally saw that. We knew when he was messing with the uh, supercomputer with the toothpick that they weren't going to have their way with him. Although, I will say that this is a lost opportunity to have a boss fight with Tails. They did the same thing in Sonic Colors with the mind control beam that Dr. Eggman hit him with. They kind of teased at a possible boss fight and then they failed to deliver but whatever here in lava mountain zone 3 we have some 3d sections and then we end up with these 2d vertically scrolling sections and we have to be really quick here because there's lava chasing us and when we get to the very top we end up encountering one of the zeti and you already hear her taunting us that's uh that's xeno we're going to be facing up there and, oh, oh, don't, come on, really, really? Ooh, watch out for the lava, it is a one-hit kill. So we have a new wisp here, this is the green hover wisp. I'm not going to show it off right now, but I, I will, because we are going to need it to access a few of the red rings a little later on in the stage. I really want, what is her deal with fashion sense? First of all, I don't see any boutiques up here on the Lost Hex. Also, once again, Xena, you are naked. You are not wearing any clothes, so by definition, are not adhering to any kind of fashion sensibilities. So, what the hell? Anyway, yeah, she's pretty easy. You don't want to you don't want to uh, be on the ground when she stomps or else ooh, well, that kind of sucks bounce a little too high yeah you also don't want to hit her while she's in the air or else you'll bounce up into the spike so oops all right now I can kind of cheese my way past these uh, oh I thought I could maybe on this side maybe on this side yeah we can try kind of cheese our way past these um these giant cannonballs by sticking to the sides here there we go no red ring in this area, so you just need to run through. Try not to die. Let's wait for this cannonball to go by. Yeah, I'm just ignoring the enemies. There's not really any point in attacking them. I mean, I guess if you want a few animals. Ooh, run, run. R well, okay, I could have handled that way better. All right, there we go. Watch out for these chicken robots. So yeah, no red ring in that 3D section right there, but we'll end up uh, having to get a few very tricky red rings in the next 3D section. Ooh, ooh, watch out. Yeah, you don't have a lot of wiggle room when dodging those spiked balls there. And we do have, if I recall, yes, we do have one red ring that we're going to get here. Come on, spike ball, hurry up and pass, hurry up and pass. And let's go ahead and kind of stick up here real quick. One of the few instances in which Sonic sticking to the walls comes in kind of handy. 
and yeah right behind here it we have a, another red ring it can be kind of tricky to navigate through there because you can't necessarily see all of the platforms because they're being obscured by the outer wall and you just kind of look through there with some limited x-ray vision and of course you hear him already zor and his and his whining that's kind of his thing come on slicer there we go yeah kind of a dickish enemy placement but that's kind of the norm for slicers there wasn't as bad as what they were in metropolis zone though that was that was just awful metropolis zone is probably not the best example of sonic game design that's an example of them uh encouraging you to go fast and then punishing you for doing so anyway i figured i'll show off the the green wisp right here the green hover wisp we saw this in sonic colors after you activate it you just hold down the zr button to float and well that's it for some reason it just kind of cuts off as we approach the checkpoint there so not the best example we'll we'll see a little more of it later okay so now we're up against zor and honestly he's he's a complete and utter joke the only time he really becomes a threat is if he jumps up onto a platform directly above you when you're jumping and even then he's just more of a nuisance than anything else but once you get to the top you pull one of the switches it doesn't matter which side you go on and then well that's the end of zor okay here's a green hover right here I think I want to wait for this first cannonball to come by and then I want to jump diagonally at this wall right here and then over to this wall then over to this wall there we go and then activate the hover wisp and make sure you're holding down the ZR button so you can grab this red ring you don't want to fall in the lava that would suck all right we have a kind of a thin time limit with that green hover wisp so make sure you're up above this fence here so you can walk along it after it wears off all right and here we go and switch over to the other side then this side there we go let's activate the hover wisp and uh grab this whoa red ring there let's see if we push the control stick in the direction Ooh, well that's not going to work for me Ooh, okay well, what I was trying to do, and it's very finicky and doesn't always work, but if you press the control stick in the direction of a trail of rings, it activates something similar to the light speed dash, even though it doesn't move anywhere near light speed. But fortunately, I landed back on this fence, so I'm just going to hit these springs, and it'll take us to where we need to go. All right, checkpoint right there. Let's take out these egg ponds. And I think I'm going to try to take a little shortcut by jumping up on top of these cannons. There we go. So we can avoid a little bit of trouble there. Let's spin dash over to this side. Ooh, ooh, watch out. We got some crisscrossing cannonballs. So you do want to be careful as you're going for these animal capsules. If you are bothering to go for the animal capsules. I like to do it because I like to go to those uh, circus tents as little as possible okay one more and i think we're safe from the cannonballs from right here all right you could already see it up ahead but there's another red ring up on that cannon so we want to try to jump up there try not to fall off it's a little funny angling it and as soon as we grab this red ring we hit an invisible spring and it just carries us in an automated section all the way to the final area okay and now you have you already hear him taunting us there's zavik we're getting ready for the final showdown with him. As you can see, these smaller gears don't stay airborne very long, so you don't want to dawdle on them for too long. Let's go ahead, and as soon as we grab the extra life, we have an invisible spring there. And this boss fight that we're going to have with Zavik probably the hardest boss fight in the game. It can be a little tricky if you don't know exactly what you're doing. Ooh, careful, careful. You don't want those big gears pulling you into the wall because as you can see, the walls are lava. Yep. Okay, take three. There we go. That's ridiculous. I've heard of the floor is hot lava, but the walls? Wow, that took me a few attempts to get. I don't know why he wasn't, uh, he wasn't controlling right. Anyway, 
Let's try to get all the way over to the side before Zavik, so we can kind of cheese this fight. And fully charged attack. There we go. If you get a fully charged attack on him immediately, then he goes into his Bowser ripoff mode. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people accuse him of ripping off Bowser from New Super Mario Brothers 2. But, yeah, we want to send these blocks down. Oh, Take six. Yeah, there's no two ways around it. This boss fight sucks ass. Probably because Sonic controls like a bag of cement. But, uh, oh, what are you going to do? So we need to do a bounce on, the, on those explosive red boxes. And they fall down and they damage Zavik. We want to be careful not to try to get him with every single one because, you know, he destroys a large portion of the platforms every time he fires one of those fireballs. And you do want to make sure that the path is clear. You don't want to make sure that there's any other platforms remaining and he climbs so fast. I hate this boss fight because sometimes it just feels like he takes more hits than he really needs to. Come on. Yeah, sometimes sometimes I get him really quick. Uh, other times, I, I don't know. It seems very inconsistent with the amount of hits that he needs to take. Are you dead yet? No, of course not. Ah. How about now? No, still not dead. You suck. All right, let's climb up and try more of them. I did beat him. I did beat him during one of these takes, but you know, he did he didn't go through his death animation fast enough and I fell and I ended up dying. Also, sometimes Sonic just doesn't want to go through the platforms. You know, he behaves as if they're completely solid. All right. Bounce on that one. Bounce on that one. Come on, are you dead? Yes, finally. Thank you. Zafik is done. All of the Deadly Six are defeated. So, we saved the world, right? Right? Nice work. Now it's time for me to do oh, Tails lost his augmentations. Why? Those would have come in useful. I needed some alone time to supercharge my mech. Oh no, totally didn't see this coming. Burn? Question mark? Okay, so looks like Dr. Eggman was uh planning on turning against us the whole time. Who would have known? So uh yeah, he's ready to kill us with that machine, but um it's gonna have to wait a while. Because we haven't unlocked enough animals yet. We we only need a few more. So I'm going to hit up a circus tent and I will be right back. I lucked out and got one of the cannon mini games. So I got over a thousand animals. That actually will bring us closer to a goal we're trying to reach a little bit later. But not right now. Okay, so it's time for the final battle against Dr. Eggman in Lava Mountain Zone 4. And in spite of his intimidating appearance, this boss fight is actually way easier than even the one in Sonic Colors. But we're not going to attack him immediately. We're just going to dodge his attacks and collect red rings on the way. They're always on a set path and come always at the always at the same time, so you know, we'll always know where it is. He's open to attack right now, but I am going to ignore him in favor of this third red ring right here. Okay, so as far as his attacks, he just repeats the same thing. He fires these green balls here. We just hold still. He has these lasers. We just jump over them. 
and then he'll try to crush us between his two hands here and we just do a double jump to avoid it all right now since he's open for attack again we'll go ahead and let him have it real quick there we go and there should be our fourth red ring coming here and we got a fully charged homing attack so that fully charged homing attack will automatically take him into his final phase so he's going to up his game a little bit with the attacks not too much this time he's just going to sway the green balls back and forth and his lasers are going to be a little bit faster yeah let's uh, grab that um red ring right after he does his first green ball attack there there we go a little bit faster lasers and now he's going to try to crush us twice in a row so all you have to do is jump twice and now he's open for attack again attack his hand wrist and shoulder attack the cockpit again and just quickly homing attack him once and he is done that's it that, that's the big boss fight with Dr. Eggman. We've done it. We've saved the world. Kind of anticlimactic, I know. You know you never needed Eggman, right? I could have turned this thing off myself. Sorry about that, Tails. I'll never doubt you again. It's cool. Yeah, the plot point with you not trusting him was completely pointless. I just reprogrammed his machine to return our world's stolen energy. Also, Tails is hacking by Felicity Smoke rules, where your ability to hack is directly proportional to your typing speed. I'll make them stronger. Yeah, so they'll be even stronger when they turn on your ass again. I borrowed the exhaust hose? Haha, <laughs> 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 it's funny because he's plummeting eating to his death. Here's your energy back, world. Bon appetit. Oh, and this time the live stream doesn't even need Holy's help. Oh, what lovely Minecraft trees. Hey, Amy. Looks like springtime's come early. <laughs> Thanks to you and Tails. Well, I would have wrapped this up sooner. But, eh, what are you gonna do? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. That's one word. That's English. Enjoy a nap on some fresh green grass. And that's how the adventure ends. With Sonic taking a nap. I feel like I need one. Okay, so, um, that's Sonic Lost World. Uh, it's a game, all right. It sure is. Okay, seriously, though, I understand that this is a very polarizing game in the series, but really, it's, it's not that bad. It's just not the greatest. Come on, Sonic fans. Just because something's not as good as your favorite one doesn't mean that it's automatically the worst thing ever. I mean, some people were saying that, you know, this game was as bad as Sonic 06. How? How? What's the logic behind that? Because, you know, programming-wise, this game is quite polished. There's barely any any glitches and those glitches that are there are very minor and you don't stumble on them all that often you know visually the game looks great it's not the best looking wii u game but i've certainly seen worse it runs at a smooth 60 frames per second you never have the frame rate chug at any point so it's constantly smooth this is a very polished game uh the sound track and eh, the music's good nothing that you're going to catch me humming or playing on a cd in my car yes i still use cds i'm old what okay anyway 
Uh, I guess I should address the elephant in the room here. The controls, also not bad. They do work. There's never a point in the game in which the controls fail. The problem with the controls is that they're, they're alien, they're unintuitive, and the game doesn't do a very good job of explaining them. I mean, yes, you do have the tutorials, but the tutorials can be easy to miss when you're going fast through a stage. An icon appears, and then you have to redirect your attention from the TV screen to the gamepad in order to activate that tutorial. So, yeah, the tutorials are easy to miss because they're, they're not invasive. They're not in your face. And, yeah, so all of you people who pissed and moaned and complained about Amachow being annoying, that's your fault. You asked for this, you got it. Other than that, yeah, Sonic Lost World, it's a game alright, and it happens to be a game that I like. Maybe I'm just easy to please. Your face is... Yes, your face. It is good to see your face. Uh, boss, your face... Is a little dirty. Let me wipe that for you. Nothing weird. Let's get out of here before my day gets any worse. Uh, why can't we tell him about his mustache? Uh, I think it's better to wait until he separates our heads. Then you can tell him and get all the glory. Great, thanks! What's wrong with my mustache? <laughs> It wasn't as funny as the ending cutscene from Sonic Generations. You can't top Eggman arguing with Eggman. Anyway, we are not quite done yet. Well, we're done with the main quest. The world is saved, but we have some extra stuff. As you can see, for getting all of the red star rings in the game, we've unlocked all seven Chaos Emeralds. We also seem to have unlocked a special world over there. So we'll explore that. We'll see what happens with all of those seven Chaos Emeralds. You probably already know if you've played any Sonic game ever. And there's also some bonus DLC content to show off. So we'll show off all of that next time. And until next time... Thank you for watching that LP show, and have a one that is good.